year and a half now. I first started uh, going to the doctors and uh, after being unsuccessful on my own, I wanted their assistance to help me time things and uh, possibly go through the IVF and uh, have a baby. Um, when I first went to them, my FSH tested normal, all of my hormones were aligned and uh, there was no reason why I couldn't go through the IVF and conceive successfully. Um, I went through, uh, the first time I went through a cycle of Clomid. Uh, we took the Clomid uh, six consecutive days and uh, at that point the doctors told me I couldn't ovulate so they had to cancel the cycle. Uh, basically their method is that they want to see a lot of follicles and they want to produce more than one egg. And so if they don't see those results, what they do is they cancel the cycle and they uh, start you all over again after you get your next period. When I got my second cycle, um, they started me with shots, which is a, a more aggressive method to get you to ovulate. And uh, they had me taking a shot every night for six nights in a row. And again, uh, the results were not consistent with what they were looking for. And so they canceled that cycle as well. Uh, the third time I went there, uh, the following month after um, I, I got my menstrual cycle and they started me again with shots. This time um, I was taking the hormones for 16 days in a row. And again, um, I couldn't ovulate uh, in the way that they wanted me to. And so um, they had to cancel the cycle. At that point they tested my FSH and it had reached 58, which is inconsistent with a woman of my age. Uh, the diagnosis was that I had a premature ovarian failure. What they told me was that I couldn't have uh, my own child with my own eggs and that I would have to go and get a donor egg. I didn't want to accept that um, as a solution to my problem. I knew that I was young. I knew that before I started with them, I was ovulating regularly and I know that they had measured my blood levels and my FSH was normal. Um, and so after going through these treatments, I questioned why my FSH was so high. Um, so after seeking alternative, doing my research and uh, looking on the internet, I came uh, and started using the Hunyan method. And uh, I started with a couple of months doing the herbs and I went back to the doctors and they tested my FSH and it was down to 28. And which that was, it was decreasing, but they still do not feel comfortable with my getting my own, uh, producing my own eggs at that point. I worked with uh, the herbs another couple of months. I went back and my FSH now was 16. And so there was a, a, an improvement in, in my FSH levels. And then after, um, Going another two months, I'm in my sixth month now, I went back to the doctors and the FSH is now six. They can't figure out why um, it's at six. I know that I'm feeling healthy, I'm getting ovulating every month regularly, I'm getting my menstrual cycles. And also, um, right now I'm in a healthy uh, mode where I can conceive my own children, which I wasn't able to do after taking the shots. And so, um, as I'm continuing with this process, I'm having a lot of hope of having my own child naturally and not having to turn to IVF. Um, that's my story. <laughs>